If you go to the pastry to buy a cake, you will find a great variety of cakes with different prices. No need to say that the higher the quality of the cake, the higher its price is. The cake's quality may be represented in its size as well as its ingredients. Oil and gas are not much different. Crude oil prices differ from one region to the next. The crudes differ in the types and fractions of hydrocarbons they contain. The sulfur concentration and viscosity or ease with which oil flows of the crudes also differ. These factors represent the quality of the crude oil. During the refining process, sulfur must be eliminated. As a result, the higher the sulfur content of the petroleum, the lower the price it commands on the open market. Crudes with a high sulfur level are called sour, whilst those with a low sulfur content are called sweet. As for oil's viscosity, the lower the viscosity of an oil, the higher the fraction of short-chain liquid hydrocarbons in the oil. As a result, the volume of a high-value automotive and jet fuels that can be refined from the oil increases. So, low viscosity crudes are worth greater prices than high viscosity crudes which require more advanced refining capabilities to treat because they contain a higher proportion of long-chained hydrocarbons. Crude oils with a high viscosity are referred to as heavy, whereas those with a low viscosity are referred to as light. Among the different types of crude oils are a special set of benchmark crudes. A unique set of benchmark crudes is among the several sorts of crude oils. These benchmarks are crudes with well-defined hydrocarbon, sulfur, and viscosity characteristics. West Texas Intermediate Crude, or WTI, is the most well-known of the benchmarks. And then there is Brent Crude, which originates from the North Sea. Both WTI and Brent are light sweet crudes. The benchmark crudes selling prices are frequently publicized. This is due to the fact that the prices serve as standards for determining the daily prices of practically all other crudes in the world. Leaving aside other price-influencing factors, the sale price of crude oil will differ from the market price of a benchmark crude by a quantity that reflects the particular crude's hydrocarbon content, sulfur content, and viscosity in comparison to the benchmark crude's specifications. As a result, a crude produced with a greater sulfur concentration and viscosity than WTI will typically be priced at a reasonable discount to WTI. There are benchmark prices for natural gas in the same way that there are benchmark prices for oil. In this case, the benchmark pricing are for processed natural gas delivered to a specific site. These are commonly referred to as natural gas hubs. The price of processed gas sold elsewhere is frequently changed in relation to the price of natural gas at the benchmark hub, dependent on the distance between the hub and the alternative sale point. The price of oil, natural gas, and petroleum products is not solely determined by the cost of producing these fuels. It is also affected by the demand for fuels. Oil prices have climbed over the last several decades as we have had to spend ever-increasing costs in order to produce enough oil to fulfill rising demand. And given that demand appears to be increasing in the future, it's logical to expect oil prices to grow as well. However, looking at past oil prices, it is evident that the price can potentially decline significantly. There are two possible causes for such faults. One example is a drop in global demand, as seen during the COVID-19 epidemic spread. Another factor that could drive prices to fall is a technological advancement that reduces the cost of producing previously expensive oil reserves. This is what happened from 2013 to 2015, when the cost of horizontal drilling and fracking declined allowing these technologies to be employed to obtain previously expensive shale oil. Natural gas and certain distillate fuels such as gasoline, diesel, heating oil, and propane undergo large seasonal fluctuations in demand, 
As a result, supply and costs of these fuels might vary greatly from season to season. Residential and commercial use of natural gas, for example, is predominantly for space heating. Hence, natural gas demand in these sectors is highest during the winter months. The same is true for heating oil and propane, both of which are used for heating in the home and commercial sectors. During the summer, however, residential and commercial demand switches to increasing air conditioning consumption. Because the increased demand for electricity is mostly provided by natural gas power plants, the electrical sector's demand for natural gas is highest during the summer. There are seasonal fluctuations in gasoline and diesel demand for transportation, but for various reasons. In general, demand for transportation fuels is highest during the summer months, when families go on vacation and teenagers are out of school and driving more. In general, global supply of oil and natural gas meets global demand for these fuels. As a result, any actual or imagined danger to supply can drive oil, petroleum products, and natural gas prices to surge days to months before the crisis occurs. Natural catastrophes are one type of threat. This is exactly what happened in 2005 when four storms, including Katrina, struck the United States Gulf of Mexico. Another supply threat that causes significant short-term price volatility is geopolitical war. Unforeseen effects of economic growth are a third short-term influence on prices. Finally, in the case of oil, there is a fourth element that can cause rapid price fluctuation, which is announcements by the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, or OPEC, of major changes in crude oil supply. This is because OPEC supplies 40% of the world's oil consumption and 60% of the oil traded internationally. Saudi Arabia is OPEC's most powerful member. If you liked this video, please support us by hitting the like and subscribe buttons below. Don't forget to share it with your friends for their benefit. Thanks for watching.